I wanted to tell a bit of a personal story about like the first time ever that I neg like negotiated, negotiated my salary. I feel like people say this is something women struggle with, but I guess sometimes when I talk about women's issues, I try not to um, make it like, oh, women struggle with this. Whereas, you know, guys might struggle with it as well if you're not that much of an outspoken person. But my friend, Nedin Saw, who um, does a podcast as well, and she's a, she used, we used to work in recru recruitment. And she said that, yeah, like women definitely lowball themselves a lot more. Um, which is so interesting to me because I have the exact same problem, right? As much as I'm shopping my mouth like this, when it was time to talk about salaries, I was just so nervous. I was just so scared. I was like, oh my God, like, you know, I just felt like, you know, asking for more money is like, oh my God, how dare you? Um, and I remember it was the first, so I started working for my company and then after I started working for them, um maybe like a, a year and a bit after there was an opportunity that came up for me to take up another role which was similar to what i was doing but more uh, a higher grade and a higher pay right um so i was like yeah okay that's fine like I'm, i was gonna do the job and then i applied and i got the job and everything and then the salary that they gave to me i was like sorry what is this <laughs> in my mind i'm like i know i can get more so i then was like okay the question now is literally how am i going to negotiate the salary I, when I tell you I was so scared, I have a feeling that I asked my friend and her sister, my friend Ned, who also works in recruitment. I don't know, somehow I feel like a conversation that I had with her definitely helped me, her and her sister. Um, but yeah, I went into, um, I went into the bathroom, like I literally was, sh I was sh oh Jesus. I was shaking, my hands were literally like, I was shaking like generator. <laughs> <laughs> I was shaking so much. I was like, oh my god, like, what if they then take the job back? What if they then think that, oh, like, maybe she's just money hungry? Um, I'm also very young at the time. I think I was like 22. So I was like, okay, like, how dare me? Like, why am I like trying to get mom? I, I just had all these really negative thoughts about what people would think about me, like, asking for a higher salary, like, what that would mean. I was just so scared. Um, but I stuck to my guns. I went and I did some research about what current, uh, currently, what those jobs in the UK are earning. Um, and also, I must say, another thing that really helped me was understanding what another colleague of mine was earning. He, um, it kind of came out, right? And I do this, some colleagues actually, somehow, like, because they, they tell you not to talk about salaries at work, which is, you know, crazy. But um, I remember someone that I was speaking to, we were trying to work at either pension or something, and then like he said how much a certain amount of, say, percentage of pension would remove from him if he was to go with that percent. And then I then took that percent and that value, you know, in my math brain, and I back calculated what his salary would be. And I realized that he was earning just as much or just a little bit more than me. And when he comes to that job, I was not going to be lying. You know, I'm definitely going to do 10 times more of a better job than he would. So I was like, okay, if he's earning that, okay, I can earn that too. So when they gave me an offer that was just about a bit lower or less than him, um, I think it was, no, it was less than him. Yeah, it was, it was the same amount. And he was in the job that I was leaving. He was in the job, like the older job that I was leaving, right? And I was moving up, right? And they gave me a, an offer that was the same as his one. I was like, no, actually, I'm going up. So I'm going to try and get some more. So to cut the long story short, I definitely did bargain. I went and did some research of how much people are earning in those careers. Again, like I said, my colleague helped me. I was scared as hell, but I was like, when they, got, they sent the offer through, I was like, unfortunately, um, like this um, does not meet, obviously, like my expectations. And then I said that based on the value that I provide to the company. And then I also said something along the lines of the national average based on uh, my institution at the time, my institution for my, my um, degree or what I do is chemical engineering, it's iChemy. So I went and I did, and I said, okay, this is what they're doing, blah, blah, blah and this is why you should pay me more and guess what they went and added i think in total i probably got about two grand more it might not be a lot to a lot of people but the fact that if i closed my mouth i definitely wouldn't have got that extra money right on top of the already pay rise that was coming with that job so whenever you get get a job opportunity like the one thing that i always think is that my company makes billions like their revenue is in the billions of pounds every year so them giving me two thousand three thousand four five thousand pounds more a year doesn't really mean that much to them and there's a bit of a wider issue anyway with recruitment always trying to like um you know give you a lower offer or hr trying to give you a lower offer than you know the whole uh, there's an issue with that anyway i don't know why they do that because at the, at the end of the day you want to give obviously you don't want to you know run the company out of money because you're giving everybody um more than what they're worth but you want to give someone what they're worth and make sure that they're competitively paid 
but that's a different story um but i just wanted to share a little bit of my experience so yeah i hope this video has helped you in one way or another thank you so much for watching and i will see you somewhere in this space sometime soon bye